Welcome everyone to day 15. Please hit like and subscribe. Um, today I got a bunch done. Got the flooring all in. Um, the back part is in and polyed two coats. So I got one more coat to go there. The middle section I have not polyed. I had that seam there and I wanted to um, put everything in there. I put Bondo in there, wood filler. Um, so it's just dry and then I got to sand it down even more and then kind of go from there backboard is on the interior is one is inside it's not attached or anything else just cut front i've also uh polyed two coats i gotta sand a little bit and go from there um this is the other interior on the left side um this piece here will be on the inside and you can see like i have the wood framed out for the window up in there and this is the goes up along that bar right there um, the door is going to go on the inside so i have to frame out on the bottom and the sides and wood just using a three quarter inch sparring wood uh three inches or four inches wide um, then i'll have a nice platform to ride around and everything else um, just a couple other things i've done is put the top in there and that in there um, and i'll show you where that's going to be on there that little piece is going to be in here um, and then the other piece is going to be back. I'll add more because um, I'm planning on putting a roof rack on. So I need some mounting points. So I figure I'm going to put three bars across or at least two. So one there, one here, and then one there. Um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to just put that together myself and weld it or uh, buy that high point. I think it's called on Amazon. It's like $52. So that's something I'm thinking about. The only downside of that one is there's only two bars there, uh, but it seems gets good reviews and I could build one for a lot cheaper, but who knows? Um, it's coming along pretty happy with everything. Um, but you can kind of see, I just have everything kind of just marked out. These are just sitting in there now. just been cutting those and then I'll glue them down uh, put them all in there the other thing that I finally mounted officially sorry for the movement is the water tank um, not really firmed up yet I was thinking I'm getting a little bit thicker heavier bolts but just want to make sure it fit um, built the bottom cage and it's mounted to the top so that should hold the way that it is now um, but it's kind of gone from there um, the only other thing I got to do is, which I asked yesterday, a couple people gave advice, is um, the window's going to kind of cut in here a little bit. Um, so I just got to figure out jigsaw or router. Everyone's suggesting router, but then the problem is they got to use something to go against. It's not going to fit exactly inside that steel. I kind of left the steel a little bit on the outside of it um, so you can kind of get an idea. So I'll on this piece here it's gonna kind of cut along so I'm gonna have a little bit of the wood there um, give it a nice squeeze point for the uh, window so anyway any questions just let me know um, look forward to getting a lot done um, hopefully this week during the week I'll get some more sanding done on that the bondo there and then then that way I can probably do a start the polyurethane in there um, I going to mount the interior walls after that and then I'll build the inside back and the inside front uh, but I'm doing that last because I want to make sure I have the exact width of the wood sides attached so not really that big of a deal it's just a lot of dry time it seems to put everything on um, delaying but I got a bunch done today I got a pretty much everything that I wanted to do this weekend done and we'll go from there but please hit like subscribe any comments suggestions anything you see that you don't like um you know post as well because that way I could uh, potentially fix it at this point um but you can see I put the top floors and I forgot to mention so under the top of the floor there's insulation one inch insulation and then the bottom um I just used eighth inch uh plywood in there and black fence post it i um, think that came out pretty good i'm gonna put one more coat of silicone underneath around all the seams as you can see it's pretty good in there but there's i siliconed on the top but i want to do another uh, from the inside but i want to do another coat on the bottom here um, all around so that way it kind of comes through and then i'll put 
another coat of paint on the frame and I think we should be all good. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.